Thanks for joining us. I'm Scott Smith. And I'm Nicole Pribino. On Park Update this week, Health in the Park is asking community members to define what a healthier St. Louis Park means to them. The city's inspection department offers residents the ability to report property maintenance issues with a quick call or click of the mouse. The city has announced a partnership with Nextdoor, the free private social network for neighborhoods. These stories and more just ahead on the update. the park is asking community members to define what a healthier St. Louis Park means to them. The citywide conversations will be held February 20th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the Marriott West Hotel and another conversation on March 2nd from 1.30 to 4.30 p.m. at the Central Community Center in the park. To register for one or both conversations, visit hipslp.org or you may call 952-928-2858. Free child care and transportation are available upon registration. Also, follow HIP on Twitter and Facebook to learn more and join in on the conversations. The city's inspection department offers residents the ability to report property maintenance issues with a quick call or click of the mouse. The voicemail and email box allows a person to leave information regarding any property issues, such as deteriorating paint, landscaping, and noise issues. The phone line and email are checked daily, and any requests to inspect properties are forwarded to an inspector. The voicemail allows for the caller to leave contact information if they wish to find out what the course of action will be. Call 952-924-2126 or email slpinspections at stlouispark.org. Minnesota's political parties will hold precinct caucuses on February 4th. Precinct caucuses are meetings organized by Minnesota's political parties, typically on the first Tuesday in February of a statewide election year. Minnesota's major political parties must hold caucuses at least every statewide election year. Other political parties may also choose to hold caucuses. It is the first step for the parties to select candidates and choose the party's goals and values. Visit the Minnesota Secretary of State's website, sos.state.mn.us, to find out where to attend your precinct caucus in St. Louis Park. The city has announced a partnership with Nextdoor, the free private social network for neighbors to improve citywide and neighbor to neighbor communications. Find someone to mow your lawn or learn when local road repairs will wrap up. There are so many ways our neighbors can help us. St. Louis Park is the third city in the state of Minnesota, joining Roseville and Edina to officially adopt Nextdoor. Already Nextdoor has proven to be an essential and well adopted tool for St. Louis Park residents. 21 St. Louis Park neighborhoods have started Nextdoor websites. With Nextdoor, residents can create private neighborhood websites to share information, including neighborhood public safety issues, community events and activities, and local services. The city will be able to post information such as important news, services, programs, free events, and emergency notifications to Nextdoor websites within the city. Those interested in joining the neighborhood's Nextdoor website can visit nextdoor.com and enter their address. If residents have questions about their Nextdoor website, please visit help.nextdoor.com. Well, there's still a lot of winter ahead of us, so keep in mind that parking is banned every time snowfall reaches three inches. On-street parking is automatically banned whether it's 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. as soon as snow accumulation reaches three inches. For winter parking ban information, call the Winter Parking Hotline at 952-924-2180 for a 24-hour recorded message or visit the city's website, stlouispark.org, where you can also sign up for Park Alert. After a snowfall on residential sidewalks, snow must be removed by the same day if there are six or more hours of daylight following the snowfall or by noon the following day. And if you're, while you're at it rather, be a good neighbor and help keep fire hydrants clear of snow. The fire hydrant may be needed for your house. So the best way to ensure faster response time is making sure the fire hydrant is clear in case of an emergency. Oh, and by the way, the first day of spring is less than 50 days away. <laughs> The city has an employment opportunity for a public service worker in the Operations and Recreation Department. You will perform manual labor and operate equipment and machinery in all areas of the Operations and Recreation Department to maintain and improve city properties and facilities. Primary duties will be aquatic park and ice arena maintenance functions during summer and winter months with spring and fall assignments in parks, operations, utilities, or other divisions as needed. The deadline to apply is February 5th 
You can view the full job description and apply online at stlouispark.org forward slash employment.html. Well, does your Harvest Gold kitchen need a long overdue makeover? Tired of the 1950s pink and green ceramic tile in the bathroom? The 2014 West Metro Home Remodeling Fair's Operation Rescue Room is just what you need. All you need is a picture and brief description of your intended project. Then go to homeremodelingfair.com to enter and you could win $1,000 toward your remodeling project. Entries must be submitted by February 16th and you must be present to win at the Home Remodeling Fair on February 23rd at the Hopkins Eisenhower Community Center. The event is free. Get all the details, information and inspiration at homeremodelingfair.com. Just ahead, Nicole has events for the young and young at heart on Generation. Once again, it's Gifts from the Heart Time, sponsored by the St. Louis Park Senior Program to help the St. Louis Park Emergency Program. Drop off a food donation or cash at Lennox between February 11th and 13th from 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and receive a heart to fill out with your name to help line the Lennox Halls for Valentine's Day. Also, a travel preview with Alice Norman from Medicine Lake Tours will be held Wednesday, February 5th at 10.30 a.m. at Lennox. For more information and to register for senior program events, call 952-928-6444. Come out to Westwood Hills Nature Center on Saturday, February 22nd from 1 to 3 p.m. to try your hand at ice bowling, lake mini golf, snow snakes, kick sleds, and more. The cost is $6 per resident and $8 per non-resident. All ages are welcome. Children must pay and be accompanied by an adult. Register online at westwoodhillsnaturecenter.org or call 952-924-2544. Did you know 52% of young people place a high value on helping others? As a family, help those around you. Shovel a neighbor's driveway, make a meal for a family of a hospitalized friend, or stop and give someone directions. Children first, asset number 26, caring. Young person places high value on helping others. Up next, Scott has a City Council update. In Council News, the City Council met with elected and appointed officials from Hennepin County, the Metropolitan Council, and the State Legislature at the January 27th study session to discuss legislative priorities for 2014. The group spent the bulk of the time discussing regional transit funding and Southwest LRT funding priorities. Also, the council met with representatives from the Environment and Sustainability Commission, Sustainable SLP, to discuss its first work plan. The ambitious plan includes preparing a sustainable community vision, education, evaluate potential initiatives, form and operate work groups, and communications and public engagement. A full council report can be found on the city's website under the archived city council agendas. Next, Misty Lewis is here with a sports break. There is history in the making for two long-standing youth soccer organizations in the West Metro. The boards of St. Louis Park Soccer Association and Golden Valley Phoenix Soccer Club have approved the merger of the two clubs, recently adopting a new name, Park Valley United FC. By combining the two clubs, membership nearly doubles to 1,100 players, 700 traveling, and 400 recreational. Park Valley United's increased size allows it to offer a broader range of recreational and competitive soccer experiences at all age levels. The ultimate goal of the merger is to provide the best structure and opportunity for the community's kids to develop, grow, and enjoy the game of soccer at a level of play that suits each individual the best. Park Valley United will continue to serve the communities previously served by the St. Louis Park Soccer Association and Golden Valley Phoenix, including St. Louis Park, Golden Valley, Crystal, New Hope, Robbinsdale, and Hopkins. Families interested in playing on a Park Valley United competitive soccer team this summer should contact Ivan Garin at garinfan at gmail.com. The St. Louis Park Hockey Association is donating $200,000 to the city to pay for a new public address system in the rec center's West Arena and other improvements throughout the city. The St. Louis Park City Council accepted the donation last Tuesday's meeting. The funds will be used for hockey-related improvements agreed upon by the association and the city council. 
the city has four parks with warming houses near their ice skating rinks. Please keep in mind warming houses will be closed when the temperature falls below negative 10 degrees and or the wind chill is negative 15 degrees or lower. You can call our weather line at 952-924-2567 for updates. Even though the schools were closed again this past week, prep sports were not canceled and Park TV 16 will have highlights for Park Update next week. That's your Park Update Sports Break. I'm Misty Lewis. Well, that's it for this week's Park Update. Thank you for watching. Now, be sure you take some time to get out there and experience life in the park. Do you have a kitchen or bath that could use a makeover? The West Metro Home Remodeling Fair brings you Operation Rescue Room. Submit a photo in a 100-word description of your greatest home improvement need to homeremodelingfair.com slash rescue, and you could win $1,000 towards your home improvement project. You must be a resident of St. Louis Park, Golden Valley, Hopkins, or Minnetonka, or live in the St. Louis Park, Hopkins, or Minnetonka school districts to be eligible. Fair attendees will vote for the project they think needs the most work. Votes will be tallied, and the $1,000 winner will be announced at the West Metro Home Remodeling Fair at the Eisenhower Community Center in Hopkins. Enter now at homeremodelingfair.com. It's free, free, free and it's for you. But West Metro Home Remodeling Fair. Architects, master gardeners, interior designers, arborists, a certified kitchen designer, and landscape designers will be on hand all day to talk with you about your remodeling, decorating, or landscaping ideas at no charge to help make your remodeling dreams come true. Plus, over 100 exhibitors, seminars, and demonstrations to choose from. You could even be the one who walks away with $1,000 for your next home improvement project. Go to homeremodelingfair.com for details. Then go to the West Metro Home Remodeling Fair at the Hopkins Eisenhower Community Center, 1001 Highway 7 in Hopkins. <laughs> 